Welcome to dealing with materials data. We are going to look at the collection, analysis and interpretation of data. And we are in the first module, the module is introduction to R. And we have looked at how to enter data into R and do analysis with the data and plot the data and things like that. So, we are going to continue. Uh, we have been using uh, one data set uh, which is about uh, certain elements, their crystal structures, densities and melting points. So, we are going to continue with that and in one of the earlier sessions uh, I showed one way of entering the data as a table and working with it and I also gave the uh, problem or uh, modification to what we did by adding the name of the element in the table as part of the data and that is what we are going to do in today's session. So, let us look at uh, uh, So, we are going to look at uh, tabulated data the second version and uh, just to remind you these are the uh, information that is in the data. So, we are going to consider some elements and we are going to consider their crystal structure whether they are FCC, BCC or HCP, their density that is given in kilograms per meter cube and melting point which is reported in degree Celsius. And uh, this data is taken from uh, Raghavan's material science and engineering textbook. So, for FCC we have chosen aluminum, nickel, gold, silver and copper and the two numbers are the densities and melting points respectively. So, and for BCC uh, we are going to consider iron, chromium, molybdenum, vanadium and tungsten and for HCP magnesium, beryllium, zinc, cadmium and titanium. So, this is the data and we want to enter this data and work with it and plot it and so on and so forth. So, this is a slight modification to the earlier version. In the earlier version, the data of the melting points and densities along with the crystal structure was given and the rows were labeled according to the element and the columns were named uh, as to whether it is the uh, melting point or density or crystal structure, etc. But what we want to do in this case is to remove the labeling of the rows, instead make the name of the element as part of the data. So, we will now have only columns to be labeled and the columns will be elements, crystal structure, density and melting point and rest of it would be data. And we are going to enter the data in R and we are going to use a library called data.table and we are going to store the matrix as data table and we are also going to use type convert command and there are also going to be some minor differences in the way in which we are going to do the plotting and so we are going to use the tilde symbol for doing the plotting and the tilde symbol means that we are plotting a formula. So, we are going to uh, say that melting point as a function of uh, density. So, it should be considered like a functional relationship and the plotting should be done. So, that is what we are going to do. So, let us uh, do that. Let us first look at the uh, way to enter the data and here is the script that does that. Uh, so, as we did earlier, so we are going to say that elements uh, is a matrix and uh, these are the data that is entered into the matrix. So, you can see that the name of the element, the crystal structure, the density and the melting point and then there is nickel, FCC, 8900, 1453, gold, FCC, 19320, 1063 and so on. So, we have listed for all of them. So, there are uh, 5 FCC and 5 BCC and 5 HCP. So, number of columns is 4. So, and the data is stored by row. So, what, what we mean by row equal to true is that the data is stored as aluminum FCC 2700-660. So, that is one row and number of columns is 4. So, it has to take 4 data points and next 4 data points will form the next row and so on and so forth. So, this is how this matrix is stored. Uh, this matrix has 4 columns and it is stored by row and there are 15 rows. So, we are going to give names for these columns, 
so that is what uh, column names does. So for this matrix uh, which is stored in the variable elements and we are going to give the column names and the column names are elements, crystal structure, density and melting point. And then we invoke the library data.table and so that library helps us store the uh, elements matrix as a data table. And then we are going to use uh, type.convert because as you can see there are uh, strings and there are numbers and so this uh, type conversion uh, helps us uh, make sure that the data is stored appropriately. So this is what uh, this uh, uh, script does and so let us open R and uh, run this script and see what happens. So as usual uh, we open R and the first thing we have to check is that we have the right version. So R version is 3.6.1 action of the toes. So this is what we have been using and I have to know which directory I am in. So that is done by the command get wd that works for get uh, working directory. So that is what it stands for and it says I am in home guru. So I have to go to the working directory uh, which is in uh, desktop and it is called dealing with materials data. I need to go to the scripts uh, directory um, in there. So we set, so now if you say get working directory, uh, you sorry get working directory and you get the uh, answer that I am in home guru desktop dealing with materials data scripts. And uh, this script that I showed you is stored as elements 2.r there. So we need to source the script. Uh, so that is what we are going to do elements 2.r. And when we source, okay, so there is uh, some information that is uh, given. Data.table is using two threads and uh, so you can get uh, information about it. Anyway, so to know whether our um, data is stored properly, let us uh, just check the structure of elements and uh, so we get and uh, what is the um, class elements. So, Okay, so list Okay. So let us source the elements two dot R. Uh, so, so there is a okay. So there is a mistake. So let's uh, source the table. Okay. So we have sourced it, and we can check the data uh, the elements. So now we can see that uh, the elements is stored as a data table, and it has elements, crystal structure, density, and melting point. And the elements are named, and uh, their crystal structure is given, density is given, and melting point is given. So we can also use uh, the uh, head which will give you the uh, top 6 data points and tail which will give you the uh, bottom data points. 
and of course you can also find out the information. So, it is uh, we have a, a data table and data frame and uh, it consists of elements, crystal structure, density, melting point and so on. So, you can also use the command class, we already know that uh, uh, it is going to be um, uh, data table and data frame. So, at this point I want to mention that uh, we store things as table or we can also store as data frame which is what the next session we are going to do and uh, it is sometimes favorable to store data as a table especially if it is a very large data uh, that is related to the optimization of the R code and that is one aspect that we are not going to spend too much time in this course. Uh, in fact, we are going to do very little of code optimization. So, this is more of a tutorial version just to learn R and how to work with it, but if you want to make more efficient code, you may have to spend more time uh, and, and learn some of these other aspects, so, but, but we are not going to do it uh, in, in these sessions. Now that we have the data, so we can try to uh, plot the data. So, to plot the data, we are going to say, I am going to say that uh, x is, uh, um, so, so let us just say uh, x is from the elements the density, okay. So, you can see that x has chosen all the densities and let us say that y is nothing but the melting points. Okay. So, y is the melting point. Okay. So, it is null because I have made a mistake. So, let us look at it. Now, y has. So, we are going to say plot, we are going to say y as a function of x is what uh, it has to plot. Um, so, you can do this then you will get a plot. So, we have got the plot. Of course, we know how to label the x, um, the x label should be density and y label should be melting point. So, okay. well, we have got density versus melting point. We also want to color, let us say, the, the points according to their crystal structure because it is not clear now which is FCC, which is BCC, which is HCP. So, to do that I am going to use the common color and that is according to elements ok. So, that is now you can see uh, that there are three different colors, uh, there are uh, greens and then reds and then blacks and uh, they correspond to the three different uh, crystal structures. So, this is uh, similar to what we have been doing. So, you can load the data and uh, in this case uh, we loaded the data as data table in that sense also it is slightly different from what we have done earlier and uh, then you can take uh, individual columns and you can plot them and you can give the uh, name to the x, y axis. Of course, there is one more thing that we did last time. So, we can do that here also. We can give a name to the plot. So, we can give a name and as you can see density versus melting point name is given. So, so you can do all these things and we have also color coded the points in the scatter plot to show the different crystal structures. So, there are three different crystal structures, so you see three different colors. So, so this is another way of doing it uh, and of course, there is one more way which is what we are going to do is to store the data as a data frame and work with it. So, that we will do in the next session. Thank you.